Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sam and this is Carl Legion. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time watching my videos, I film reviews. Um, I do uh, videos on modified cars, as such as one we have today. Um, I do on classic cars whenever they come handy. Um, for today, we have a beautiful 2017 Mercedes CLA 45 AMG. It's our second in our channel. This is different. It's modified different. It has a completely different uh, body style as well. Wide body, I'd say, um, in this case. And for today, we have our good friend here, uh, Jason. Thanks Hi. a lot. Appreciate uh, for giving me a chance to drive the 2017 model. Um, there are a few differences I can come, I can see already in this one. The steering wheel is different from the diff from the previous one that we did. Um, and don't forget the video you can see uh, on my channel. It was another beautiful green uh, Mercedes CLA 45. Um, so for this one, it's a bit different, but the body style is very familiar. Uh, recently, I did a video on a BMW M3 F80 um, from YD Motorsport here in Toronto. They were kind enough to let me drive it for the day, pretty much. Um, we had an awesome day with that, and the video for that one should be on my channel as well. Um, but this car came from the same shop. Um, with some mods from them and then some modification done on the other side. So let's start with uh, what you have done with the exterior first. Okay, so for the exterior, I choose the white body from uh, Japan, Ferry Design. Ferry Design, okay. And the wheels are from Vogue Racing, uh, ZE40. Okay. And for the uh, some custom arrow from a shop called New Type in Markham. Okay. And including the front lip, the rear, and some side skirts. Okay. And its orange color was white, so I painted white. And let me think what else I have. Can't mind. remember everything. There's too many yeah, things in there. It's like, um, yeah. I saw the front splitter. Then you got carbon fiber. Yeah, lid. the carbon fiber spoiler. The spoiler, sorry. Yeah, it's um, also from Ferry Design. Okay. It's the whole body kit. Okay. And I did pretty much in, on the inside, I think. So the inside here, basically, we just have uh, carbon fiber yeah. straight. Uh, this is the package that comes with uh, yeah. when you bought the car, right? Yeah. So you haven't done anything except the, the pedals, the paddles as well. Yeah. Um, and these are pretty nice. There, can actually. Yeah, and for the engine, what have we done? What have yeah. you done to the engine? I tuned it with the ECU from Eurocharged. Okay. Very so popular. it's uh, stage two, but okay. it's special design called Burbo design. Okay. So it comes with more pops in the in the, in the yeah. Player. It's this thing is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's so loud. Also, it has a Mishimoto full system intake. Okay. And it also has a HKS valve. Okay. And also the car has a suspension of KWV3. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I think that's pretty and little little spacer. Yeah. Okay, of space H to get it a little bit more. Yeah, off what, from HR. From HR. What kind of tires are you running in it? Uh, Nitto tires. Nitto NT05. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what what's the size of the rims? 18? Uh, 19, 19. 19 inch? Yeah. Staggered or? Uh, forged. For, oh, hey, they're, oh, so that mean they're, they're not bigger in the back or in the front, I guess, because uh, this is an all wheel drive. Same. All wheel drive. So oh, you can, I could, yeah. I could have made it like 275 in the front and 295 in the rear. But but it's not good for this car because it's an all, all wheel drive. All drive so yeah, I it makes sense. Two two seventy five in both rear and front. Okay, that yeah. that totally makes sense. Um, it it looks really uh, really nice and clean in here. How many kilometers do you have on this thing? Uh, like twenty 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 thousand. Twenty thousand. Wow. Yeah. When did you buy the car? Uh, last year. Last year. Yeah. That's pretty. Uh, Oh, 20,000 kilometers, that's not bad, one year. Yeah. That's that's pretty decent driving. That's awesome. Um, what's the plan? What are you planning to do next with this? Uh, I'm thinking seriously to get a bigger turbo or I might change air suspension okay. in next year. I'm not doing anything this year. So maybe next year I'm gonna, gonna plan something big on this car. Okay, nice. Um, did, that you know, you already have done quite a bit of work in here. Yeah. I would say. Um, what's the uh, what? What are the official numbers like um, for the engine? What, what's the performance of the engine right uh, now? What, I would what numbers say, are we getting it? I would say it's a uh, four hundred fifty horsepower of okay. the engine. Okay. Around four hundred on wheel, I think. Four hundred on wheel. Yeah. Usually it loses on, about 10, 15 percent, yeah, but it when it's all wheel on the drive, oil and the weather. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. It's only comfort mode. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just driving comfort mode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's put it to drive. 
And uh, we got the handbrake somewhere. Yeah. Uh, oh, perfect. Man, I, this is, I love this thing. Okay. First of all, this thing gets very loud. Yeah, it has uh, army tricks downpipe, army and uh, GT custom straight pipe. It's sorry for that. We got yeah. a lot of. Uh, Jason was telling me he's actually moving, so we have a lot of stuff in the back. Um, oh, this is this is gonna be pretty interesting. Okay, can we put this into manual? Yeah, you just shift it to race. Put it to and so it's in manual. Button. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. First of all, I'm losing sight of the speedometer here. Yeah. And this is not a really fast zone. <laughs> that yeah. wouldn't um but it's that army tricks the previous bmw that we did the m3 has an army tricks as well and that even that one was absolutely insane yeah. out he used the army tricks cat bag but for cat me it's the downpipe downpipe yeah it's the catalyst downpipe the tires they rub a little because i guess the car is a little bit low yeah um what do you have for suspension here uh kw v3 kw okay yeah, v3 suspension nice they're uh so why did you pick an a, 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 the CLA? What was the purpose? Like, um, when I first picked my car at that time last year, I, I was not that. No, I don't know too much about cars. Okay. So I basically, I just think I want a all-wheel drive for winter in Toronto, and I, I want understand, a fast yeah. car. So, so then, when I went to BMW and Mercedes, and I only find this one with my all-wheel and fast. I was planning to get a C63, but at that time they said there's nothing in stock. I need to wait three months. Okay. So I didn't choose. So that. you just you just went with this one. Yeah. They're very lovely car, but I, as you said to me previously, a lot of people complain about. I wouldn't say complain, but they, uh, you know, for told people it's a bit hard. Yeah. Because look at my uh, right here, like my hat is literally close to the roof. Meanwhile, yeah. you have you have a clearance on your side. Yeah. Um, I think I would have a bit of a hard time driving this daily. So. Um, my RS is actually pretty good because my RS has the option for the seats to go really low yeah. for the driver's side. The passenger, I feel bad for them, but I don't care as much. Uh, okay, let's go straight. Oh, oh, oh. I feel bad for people around here. They're going to be... If they're sleeping right now, there's not gonna be any sleeping, that's for sure. It's really loud, man. Do you feel comfortable with this, this loudness? I'm just getting used to You're it. You're getting used to it? <laughs> yeah, like I said, it was very loud last winter, and it's getting better now. Last winter, I don't even want to drive it. Wow. It's uh, like like my condos, like the security complains about me saying you can't do this in the condo. <laughs> and say why? I'm just turning up my car. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. You're yeah. already complaining. That's crazy. Let's do a quick U-turn here and just go in the other side. Okay. I'm. It's. I don't know. It's very loud. I would have a hard time driving this loud but you know I guess as you said like you just got to get used to it and once yeah. you get used to it we're in manual mode right yeah, yeah. like it's a little bit uncomfortable the first two months those tires are rubbing a little bit yeah it does have uh, it, it picks up power pretty quick yeah it's uh I think if you put a giant turbo, <laughs> thumbs up from people. No complaints. <laughs> we usually get people complaining about being really loud. Meanwhile, that guy just gave us thumbs up. And um, like, you mean the bigger turbo? Yeah, I guess a bigger turbo will will yeah. definitely help you produce a little bit more horsepower. Maybe to like 500 horsepower, I'd say. Uh, I wouldn't know exactly yeah. the power output it's after much the. Much more than that. 
from West Tech. They have a uh, stage three turbo, I think. They're actually a great company. Yeah, they can they, make they these cars. They make too. they make some superchargers as well, kit for for yeah. cars that uh, you can't find superchargers. Yeah. Um, I West Tech says they email me that they can make this car into uh, six hundred fifty something. Six hundred fifty horsepower. Yeah, something oh. like that. What's the body weight on this? It's like 3,500 pounds or something? Uh, around that, something around that. I think it is around 3,500 pounds yeah. as far as I remember. I actually, when uh, when I decided to buy my RS, before uh, getting my RS, sorry, I went to look at this car. Yeah. And I think the reason why I didn't get it is because of the transmission. Yeah. Um, not because it wasn't man automatic, but because it, I find the Mercedes transmission lack of speed yeah. um, when you're shifting. Um, as I said, like if he had an option such as the DCT for BMW, that this transmission is, a, is awesome. That's one, this one is a DCT, but it, it's not yeah, the it's same. Not the, not it's not the, the, similar yeah. to that. It's like I can actually tell the difference when I'm shifting. There's a bit of a delay on this yeah. one. The DCT and the PDK for uh, from Porsche. They are very fast, they react yeah. really fast. Oh, this is a joy. But it's very low. That's one thing, it's just a bit loud for me. That's the only thing. But I guess you get you you're used to it because you drive it every yeah, day. I drive it every day. You don't you don't mind it. Um, do you, have you gotten any tickets while you're <laughs> with this car? Because I guess straight well, pubs are not allowed around here, right? Uh, lots of tickets. <laughs> this is, um, I, I very much enjoy the car, man. It's very, especially now while you're driving in manual. Mm -hmm. I know for some people are like, what's the purpose of driving in manual uh, when it's an automatic? Well, you can have fun shifting this thing as well. It feels like you're on a, you're uh, yeah. playing uh, PlayStation, right? Yeah. But this is real life. Yeah. My favorite part about this car is that when you downshift. It's so quick to uh, to make that noise. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Got no cars. <laughs> and these roads around here are just gorgeous. They're perfect for this car. Just a bit of rubbing. Yeah, just cause, a bit. Because I lowered the car. You lowered it. I lowered the car last week. I lowered more because for Info Fest. Oh, okay. Yeah, you went. You were at the show. I remember yeah. first time. That's where we met. Um, I'm gonna like raise it a little, raise it a little bit. Raise it a little bit. I guess you can adjust the dump, the yeah. dumpers, right? You, yeah, uh, I can. It's a two-way. You can adjust the the height, the, the height, and yeah. uh, you can change it to hard or soft. Okay. Okay, that's. Uh, I I very much enjoy this. What's your favorite thing about the car? What What's your favorite that you like the most about it right now? As an actual car, not just the mods. Uh, for now, I would say it's the exhaust. But the when I first got my car, I I think I loved the the launch control. Launch control? Yeah. Nice. It's uh. But for now, I don't really use it anymore for the white body. Uh, I guess it slides you said. Yeah, it doesn't fit the launch control anymore and. But the exhaust is the perfect part. I like it. Yeah, it's a, it's very loud. I'll tell you that. People yeah. will notice that you're around when you're driving yeah. this thing. And I also living downtown Toronto. I know it's a, it, they uh, cops everywhere as well. There, yeah. people just coming out and say, "Oh my God, it's so loud." Yeah. Um, God, this is so loud. You see, this is one thing why I need, I want to get my, I got to upgrade my exhaust for my RS because it's, it's not very loud. Crazy, right? 
right? It's so loud, like it's insane. Yeah, and it's like not that loud when you're inside the car. Yeah, when you're inside, of course. Yeah. Remember when I said to you when I was uh, doing the video outside, I said the only way you will you'll realize, you'll find out that the car is very loud is when you're actually outside because inside, yeah. um, German cars, I feel they do a great job of isolating the outside noise, especially BMW. Um, does a great job too, Mercedes as well. And that's the beauty of it because at the same time, you can upgrade your uh, exhaust and not feel uncomfortable in yeah. the car. Now, again, this is a bit loud, but you're still, it's still- uh, Acceptable. Acceptable, exactly. But it's not good for the people on the, on the outside. Yeah, it's your, it's your money at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's what matters. I I very much love this thing, man. It's it's extremely loud. That's one thing. But getting over that part doesn't matter. Um, I very much enjoy the way this car looks. Yeah. Um, even though I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, wide bodies on cars. I don't prefer them as much. But it doesn't mean they don't look good. Yeah. They look great actually on some cars. Some cars are pretty yeah, much overdone. I, I don't. I, I don't really like white body when I first get uh, when I first starting to drive. But when I see the RWB, which gives me the idea to get a white body car. Okay. And I'm, I think I'm just starting crazy of it. If I purchase the next second car, I might also do a white body. <laughs> <laughs> it's like tattoos. Once you get yeah. one, you want to do the. <laughs> yeah. You want to continue the tradition. And I just search on the internet to see all of those white bodies on different cars and just. They look nice. Yeah. But they're not very practical, right? The, yes, I mean, and they have like advantage, but you get disadvantage too. Like you get a white body. Yeah. Most of them didn't do well on track anymore. That's true. And I, 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 may, I, I follow you on that. Okay. Well, Jason, I very much appreciate this. This was another joy driving a, a okay. modified CLA. Thank you so much. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. And at the same time, don't forget to follow Jason. I'm going to put his Instagram um, account in the description box. So if you want to ask any questions to him, if you have anything to, if you want to know more about the car, um, you can reach out to him. You can post a comment as well. I'm sure he's going to look at them. Um, just try to avoid the yeah. mean ones, the keyboard warriors, as I call them. They love to comment on everything. Um, yeah. But that's what internet is for. It's an open place. So again, Jason, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate this. This was very nice. I, uh, it's a second one, and I always enjoy uh, Mercedes, and I love the, the CLA body style as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And again, don't forget to subscribe.